Hi, Corey from Roebuck Australia here today. I just want to talk to you about some common principles when it comes to lasering any product on the market. It doesn't matter what type of product it is, there's common principles in every laser, multiple lasers included. First thing that you need to understand is you must know your wattage. The wattage of the machine is very, very important because if you don't understand how to control your wattage, you won't put enough power to etch through the plastics or leather or whatever it is you're etching. If you have a high powered laser and you use a, a larger percentage, you're gonna burn the product. The second principle is you must understand what lens you're using on your laser. The common lens length is two to two and a half inches. This will give you a very crisp finish on multiple products. If you go to a one and a half inch lens, it's mainly for harder products, stainless steel, brass, aluminium, marble. But if you use the one and a half inch lens on plastics and acrylics and softer products, it's too harsh. It's too focused, it's too hot. It tends to melt and buckle products. And thirdly, if you're using a vector grid, you need to make sure that your vector grid is nice and flat. If it's not flat and been buckled by heat, then you need to replace your vector grid. The other way that a lot of laser users fix the focal length problem is that they have a sticky mat. Some have the pink sticky mat, some have the Seclamar, which is what we sell. They're very, very effective when it comes to lasering thin products, thin timbers, thin laser lights, thin laser max, thin flexi brass or trophy flex. Fourthly, you need to take care to understand the airflow in your machine. If you have air assist, make sure the air assist is turned on. If you don't have air assist, then you probably need air assist so that you don't get burning. You need to consider how your airflow is going through the machine. Is it filtered with a Bofa filter or a universal style filter? It doesn't matter what filter, there must be around 650 CFM airflow through the laser machine. If you get that airflow through the laser machine, it will control how much dust how much stickiness comes off laserable products like laser max and acrylics and color hues. You'll get less wear and tear on your mirrors, less wear and tear on the lens, less wear and tear on the running gear. You should always check your mirrors and lenses at the start of each day, make sure they're clean and it'll give you a very crisp finish. Every time we laser laser max on any laser machine with the correct settings and the correct principles, it is a very, very good product. Laser Max always delivers the Romark quality. What I want you to understand is these principles, these lasering principles will help you in every laser across all products. But there are some finer details in some products. Please give us a call because the Romark team is ready, willing and able to help you every day.